France brings a new level of European defence support to Ukraine, and I thank President Macron for his leadership. We'll get more armoured vehicles, including French-made wheeled tanks. This gives a clear signal to all our other partners. There's no rational reason why Western-style tanks have not yet been supplied to Ukraine. And this is very important in order to restore security for all Ukrainians and peace for all Europeans. Well, for more on that latest development, then we're going to cross to our reporter, Luke Schrego, who's standing by for France 24 in Kyiv. Uh, good morning, Luke. So France is indeed amping up its military aid to Ukraine then. Indeed, uh, France is definitely uh, boosting its aid towards Ukraine, uh, giving it these uh, fighting vehicles, the AMX-10 RCs. Now, it's somewhere between a light tank and uh, an armoured vehicle. And uh, it uh, has to be said, it doesn't mean that France has done nothing. We have seen France coming under some criticism uh, in terms of what it's been giving to Ukraine uh, towards Emmanuel Macron. He's come under criticism for attempting to maintain uh, some sort of open line of diplomacy uh, between the Kremlin and Vladimir Putin, uh, walking a very fine balance between uh, the aid it is giving to Ukraine and uh, trying to, uh, to keep uh, a line of uh, diplomacy open. Now, it has to be said that Paris has already done uh, quite a lot in terms of what it has provided for Ukraine. It's sent its uh, armoured personnel carriers, rocket launchers, uh, air defence measures, uh, anti-tank and air missiles, and not least, at least 18 um, of the Caesar howitzers, which it has to be said have been used to devastating effect uh, ever since their arrival. Uh, there was a story that came to our attention just a day or two ago. Uh, not long ago, there was uh, the former head of uh, the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin, who was celebrating his birthday in occupied Donbass. Uh, he was uh, quite badly wounded in a strike uh, uh, at the time. And it's uh, now been reported that uh, one of the pieces of shrapnel that was removed from his body uh, was apparently going to be sent to Emmanuel Macron because the strike that was carried out was purported to have been by uh, one of those French Caesars. Now, it does have to be said that Ukraine is obviously still pushing the West to send uh, main battle tanks and heavier vehicles. Uh, now, even if they haven't been forthcoming yet, it, these AMX-10s are a sign of France's commitment towards Ukraine as uh, it moves into the second year of, uh, towards the second year of of war. There are also signs too that the United States could follow suit in sending uh, Bradley fighting uh, infantry fighting vehicles to Ukrainian forces, uh, adding to this drip feed of weapons that has been coming through, a drip feed that uh, is proving to be increasingly more capable in, in what it can do, and a sign also of these shifting Russian red lines in terms of uh, the, uh, the technical equipment that Ukraine is getting. There's been this fear in the West of uh, some sort of Russian response, a response that so far has not materialized. Luke Schrago in Kyiv, thank you very much for that update.